Here's how to live stream on YouTube for beginners. We'll share the easiest way to go live on YouTube, followed by some more advanced YouTube live streaming software options to help you level up your YouTube live stream in no time. Now in this tutorial, I'm gonna cover how to go live on both desktop and mobile, but make sure you stick around because throughout, I'm gonna share some awesome tools and my favorite tips to help you level up your live streams. So to kick things off, I'm gonna dive into the desktop live streaming process. And I know I'm showing you on a Mac, but don't worry whether you're a Mac or PC user, the steps are the same. So first and foremost, you need to ensure that live streaming is enabled on your channel. So to check this out, you just need to click on your profile picture in the top right hand corner, navigate to YouTube studio, head to settings, and then select channel. Proceed to feature eligibility, and this is where you should verify your channel. As you can see, my channel is verified, but if your channel isn't verified yet, don't worry, there should be a verification button available. So now that verification is sorted, close that tab and let's head back to the top. So to start the live streaming process, click on create and choose go live. We then have the option to pick the type of stream to begin. We can use the built-in webcam, which is recommended for first time creators. There's no setup required. Use your existing webcam for an easy way to go live. And then you can press go, or you can use streaming software. And this requires additional software. You can add overlays, new graphics, and more. And you can press go. Because this is a basic beginner's YouTube going live, I'm gonna press built-in webcam and go. You can see me in the background. So this is where you can set up your live stream. So my channel is about things they should tell you before coming to Australia. So a catchy title for this live could be three crazy culture shocks in Australia. So my description is a little bit of a teaser. So how do you wanna go live? You choose a broadcast type for your live stream. And because you've already selected webcam, that's what it will be here. So it's going to be my MacBook camera. And here we have category. Add your stream to category so viewers can find it more easily. So you have a list of topics here about what your live stream could be about. So it's great to add a category because whether or not people follow you, they will know what it's about. Is it about gaming, how to, film and animation? Mine's gonna be about comedy. So you can select or upload a picture that represents your stream. A good thumbnail stands out and draws viewers attention. So you can either take a picture or upload a thumbnail. I'm gonna upload one I made earlier. You can add your live stream to a playlist. So I've added mine to living in Australia because I'm doing comedy comparisons. And you can specify whether or not this video is made for kids. I've clicked no because it's not made for kids. So while many default settings may suit your needs, clicking on show more unveils additional options. Here you can tag your live stream as a pay promotion. The stream contains pay promotion like a product placement, sponsorship or endorsement. You can explore tags, languages and various other settings familiar from regular YouTube videos. So most of the default settings should suit you just fine as a beginner. So moving on to the next session, we have the customization options. You can toggle live chat on and off, control access to live chat replay, and manage you can send messages during your live stream, whether it's anyone's subscribers or a live commentary from approved users. This basically means a live commentary mode limits the participants to the people you approve already for your channel. You can also show live reactions, and additionally, you can set a delay for comments. You can also redirect, which allows you to keep viewers engaged across multiple events. You can add a live stream or premiere for people to watch after yours ends. So this is to keep people on your channel or send them to any channel that gives you redirect privileges. Whichever you choose, viewers will automatically can be sent to the new watch page after your content ends. And you can also add a trailer. So a trailer can be added from one of your public or unlisted uploads, as long as it has the same audience as your live stream. You can always select and add a trailer later. So once you're happy with that, we click next. Now let's talk about the visibility of your live stream. Choose when to go live and who can see your stream. You can choose whether it's private, unlisted, members only, which is for channel memberships, or public for everyone on YouTube to see. Now, most people typically set their live streams to public. You can also schedule your live stream for a future date and time if you prefer. And once you're ready, you click done. Now we're ready to preview our stream. If you wanna make any edits, you can go back and do that here. Whether that's changing the thumbnail or the description, you can do that now. You can also see here viewers waiting, likes and any chat revenue. You can choose which camera you wanna use. You can use your phone, you can use your built-in webcam. I'm gonna stick with my webcam. I can also choose the microphone. And for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm gonna keep it to the microphone I'm using now. Now down here, you can pop out your live stream dashboard. So if I want to have this dashboard to the side where no one else can see it, but I can keep an eye on it, that's basically what that means. So I can just pop out the dashboard and I can have this separately on another screen that I'll just put over to the side. So once I've confirmed my camera and microphone and made any edits that I want to, I can get a shareable link. So just click on share to obtain a shareable link for your stream that you can send to people that you want to join. And all you need to do is copy the link and you're ready to let your audience know you're about to go live. Then hit close to proceed. Okay, this is the great bit and now you're ready to go live. It's time to make it happen. All you need to do is press go live. 
Okay, so it says going live, and then once it says live, that means I am live. There we go, you're live from right here. So now you start your live stream, it's all about managing your live stream. So at the top here, you can see your live and how long you've been live for. You can see how many people on your live and how many people have given you likes. The chat is on the right hand side of the screen. You can also comment below as well if you like. There's also the option to engage with your audience right here. So in the bottom right hand corner, if you press the plus button, you can start a Q&A so your viewers can ask you questions. You can start a poll to get people to weigh in. It's always nice to have your audience to interact with something and then you have content to work with. If you have a poll on what's your favorite ice cream and they're voting, then you can comment back on that because the whole point personally as a content creator doing live streams is to interact with my audience, to get to know them so they can get to know me. And if you don't wanna do that, you can just close. Also, if you have monetization enabled on your channel, people can show their support for you by clicking here and then they can send you a super sticker or a super chat so you can earn money from your lives. But we'll talk about monetization later. You can also keep an eye on your audio levels down here. You can mute your microphone. You can also share your live stream again while live. This is when you can do the pop-out dashboard again. If you have any feedback for YouTube, that's here. This dashboard is quite user-friendly and you can control your live stream with ease. So that's how easy it is to live stream on YouTube on your desktop. And when you're ready to wrap up your live, all you need to do is press end stream at the bottom. Your stream will stop automatically and you'll no longer be live. Bye bye everyone. So after ending your live stream, take a moment to review your analytics because this will help you grow as a creator. Obviously I was private, so I didn't have anyone watching, but you'd see views, your peak concurrence, total watch time, chat rate, average viewer duration, and the duration of the video. And this provides valuable data into the insights of your streaming performance and how you can improve. So you can dismiss or you can edit in studio. And now we're back on the YouTube Live Studio dashboard. And if you ever wanted to schedule a YouTube live stream, all you need to do is click Schedule Stream. And it's pretty much the same process as before, but you're gonna be scheduling it ahead of time. And then you get that shareable link to send it to all your viewers so they can tune in when you're ready to go live. And that's how you live stream on YouTube from your desktop. Now I'm gonna show you how to live stream from your mobile device. And regardless if you have an Android or iPhone, the process is the same. But there are some requirements to live streaming on your mobile that you need to check out. So we're here on the YouTube website and they say that in order to live stream on your mobile, you need to have at least 50 subscribers, no live streaming restrictions within the last 90 days of your channel. You need to make sure your channel is verified. You need to turn on live streaming and you may need to wait 24 hours before starting your first live stream. Something else to note is that if you're over 50 and have under a thousand subscribers, YouTube has put some safety measures in place, which means that you may have a limited number of viewers on your lives. Then after reaching a thousand subscribers, it may take several weeks to remove the mobile live streaming audience limitation. But but those are the restrictions at the current time of filming this video. And now I'm gonna show you how easy it is to live stream on YouTube from your smartphone. All we need to do is jump over to the YouTube app. Here we go, and at the bottom of the screen, you're just gonna press the plus icon and we're gonna get started. So at the bottom of the screen, you can see you have the options for a video, short, live, or post. We're gonna stay on live. So here we are on the live dashboard on your mobile phone and it's pretty much again, the same process as the desktop. My channel name's at the top. They need to add a title. You can change the visibility from public members only to unlisted. Now there isn't a private option here, but I'm gonna go with unlisted because I don't want anyone to see it because it's just a tutorial. Then you can select your audience and you need to make sure, unless it's for kids, that you mark, no, it's not made for kids. This is where you can also invite guests to go live together. Now bear in mind, if you toggle to invite guests to go live together, if you go into advanced settings, you're not able to change the orientation. You can't have the live stream in landscape. It can only be in vertical. So you can see at the bottom, it says, go live together, streams are vertical only. Then you can add a description in of what your live is gonna be about. And I've just added in a quick description of how to go live on YouTube. Again, always have a catchy title and description so people who don't know you know what the live's about and might be intrigued and wanna join. Then you can add your location in. I'm gonna go with the Sunshine Coast. And like on desktop, you can schedule this live for later. So in advanced settings, you have options for allow chat, allow reactions, and you also can toggle if this is a paid promotion live. And then you can change your orientation from vertical to horizontal. Now on a phone, I would typically always do vertical because I think that's a lot better. However, if you wanna be showing people around or doing a walkabout, then landscape would work. So now I'm going to press next. And you can see, hello, there I am in the background waiting. So this is what it looks like. I'm about to go live on YouTube. So it says the date, the stream is set for today. It has my name. And you can also, with the little pencil icon, 
you can change the thumbnail. You can either take a thumbnail or upload a thumbnail. So there we go, I've uploaded a thumbnail, but at the top right hand corner of the screen, you have two options. I can either turn my camera around, it's just my boring computer, or I can press the arrow and I can share the link for my live. So this is a great idea if you wanna share it on your social media, send it to your friends, get anyone that you wanna go live to join you. So you can copy a link or create a post. So if I was to create a post, I can post it on YouTube to let everyone know that I'm going live. Okay, and now we're live. So in the top left-hand corner, it's the big red button showing we're live. It shows how long we've been live for, how many people are on our live, and how many likes we've received during our live. I just put my phone on a tripod because it's wobbling everywhere. So that's my number one tip. If you're gonna go live on your phone, maybe have a little tripod, just keep yourself hands-free. At the bottom of the screen, we have a few options. We have the ability to turn our camera around. You have the chat viewing options. So you've got your top chat, live chat, super chat, and you can hide the chat. In the middle, we have our filters where you can change how you look. And then here you have creator tools. So under here is start a poll. And at the bottom of the screen, we have the three dots. And this is where it gets really interesting. So you have share, where you can share your live with other people. You can mute your microphone. But at the top, you have save highlight. So if you press save highlight, you have a little section of your video that you know that you love and you don't have to go through your entire life thinking, where was that part that I really liked? You've already saved it. It's just gonna save you so much time. And then you have a little mini trailer for your live that you can advertise for people to check out. I really like it. And that's it. That's how easy it is to go live on YouTube on your mobile phone. So now I'm ready to finish my live. I'm gonna press the X in the top right hand corner. And it says, are you sure you wanna stop live streaming? Yes, yes I am. And now you have your analytics on screen. Now you finish your live. So we're gonna press done and you'll be able to access these analytics on your channel anyway. And as you can see, my live stream is being uploaded to YouTube. But please bear in mind, this video is only four minutes, so if you do a longer live, it will take a longer time. As you can see in the second video down is a highlight from a video I did the other day. So I automatically saved a part of my video that I really liked and it was brilliant. Okay, and now our mobile version of our YouTube Live is up on our channel. But if you press the three dots now it's uploaded, you can save this video to a playlist, you can share the video, you can edit the title and description and visibility, you can also look at more advanced settings in studio and you can save this video to your device or delete it. So those are the options you have once the video has been uploaded. Now that's the basics on how to go live on YouTube from your desktop or mobile device. For those of you seeking to enhance your live streams with animated titles, guest appearance, screen sharing, or multiple camera angles, professional live streaming software is the key. So we have a variety of options for both desktop and mobile platforms. So check out the links in the description to find the perfect fit for your needs. But here's a quick rundown on my personal favorites when it comes to live streaming on Mac and PC. If you're using a Mac, I highly recommend Ecamm Live as my go-to live streaming tool. Whether you're a beginner or someone looking for advanced features and controls, Ecamm Live strikes a perfect balance without overwhelming you. And if you're a PC and Mac user, StreamYard is an amazing option and will also work in your phone browser as well. So it'll work on iOS and Android too. But these tools are really gonna help level up your live streams. So to show you how easy and powerful it is, I'm gonna do a quick demonstration on StreamYard now. It says it's the easiest way to live stream and record. And to get started, it's free. So let's go for it. You can either sign in with your email or with Google, or if you already have an account, you can log in here. I'm gonna sign in with Google. And it's pretty user-friendly. We're gonna go straight away to live streaming. So this is a StreamYard live streaming dashboard. You can see already you've got access to a lot more control and features in here than you do on YouTube. So let's click on to live stream. So most live streams use the studio, or you can select pre-recorded if you have recording you wanna stream without you being there. It's always a nice feature. And then you select a destination of where you want to live stream. So we're going to go with a YouTube channel. Again, it seems pretty intuitive and pretty simple. And it's that easy. My YouTube channel is connected and I'm ready to create my live stream. So I can add a title, add in my description, and I've set it to private. And just to double check, I've already selected my YouTube channel here, but you can add a new destination as well for your live stream. So it's great that they give you multiple options. I can also schedule this live stream for later, but I'm going to go ahead and create live stream. Okay, let's make sure we allow mic and camera access. Add your display name in here. To make any changes to your camera or mic settings, let's go to settings here. I'm gonna change it to my Mac camera. So right now we're on standard definition, but if you wanna go for full high definition, you will need to upgrade to a professional plan. You also have the options to mirror my camera. Oh, I like that. But this way you can actually read my sign. You can also touch up your appearance. And now we're ready to enter the studio. Okay, so we're in the dashboard to go live on StreamYard. And it just let me know that my audio and video has not been added, so I need to add to stage. So if you wanna add someone to live stream, you just add to stage. Ta-da! Okay, here we are. So this is where the magic happens. And you have so many options to level up your live stream. So you can choose different colors. Like I would always go with a pink. I like the bubble. You can toggle things like show display name, show headlines. So I can be that British girl. 
You can add a logo, but you'll need to do that on the upgraded plan. You can also add overlays, different video clips like a countdown, which is great if you want to build momentum up to your live stream. You can change your background, add background music. And then when you have guests down at the bottom of the screen, you can change how it looks. It's just amazing how much customization you can get in comparison to YouTube. And over here on the right hand side, you have the comment section, you have banners. So banners can be used to summarize your talking points and displays to action. And you can set these up before ahead of time so you're just ready to go when you're live. Like check out my website or look at this resource type of thing. And again, you've got brand colors, which I love. You can also have private chats with anyone else in the studio. So when you're happy with everything in your live, you can be ready to go live. And now we're live. It's as simple as that. So when you finish your live stream, you can look at the analytics or you can edit the video. This is just so simple and easy to use. I highly recommend checking it out. Now you know how to live stream on YouTube. And while you're here, why not check out the video on screen to level up your live streaming? There's also a link to my channel if you want to go check out any of my videos, because I'd love to see you over there as well. And make sure you comment to say hi. And as always, we've got a bunch of links and resources in the description to help you out in the next one. I'm that British girl, Jordana Grace. Thanks for watching.